Hello everyone and welcome to this 20 minute yin yoga routine for the lower back. We're going to begin today in child's pose. So if needed, you can take a fold into your yoga mat just to make a little bit of extra cushioning for your knees. Try to keep your knees as close together as you can. That way you're going to feel more of a release within your lower back. But if you do need to take your knees wider apart, that's fine. Now the forehead is going to come down onto the ground. And if it doesn't quite make it, you can rest your forehead onto your hands or you can take another cushion or yoga block and put it in underneath your forehead. And the same goes for your hips here. If you're feeling a lot of tension within your hips, you can go ahead and sit on a cushion or a yoga block. If you're not using your hands, they can rest next to your feet with your palms facing up. And we'll be here in child's pose for two minutes. Breathing deeply into your lower back and just feeling that release with each exhale. Take a moment here to relax your jaw, soften your facial muscles. Unscrunch your neck. Drop your shoulders towards the ground. You might start to encourage each breath in to go a little bit deeper, really stretching all the muscle around your lower back. Take three more big breaths here. And when you're ready, fingertips can come back to the mat. Use a breath in to slowly push yourself back up. And once you're there, just resting like so if you can. Closing the eyes and taking a breath or two. With an exhale, gently open up the eyes again. And from here, we'll slide down onto the belly. Setting ourselves up for Sphinx pose. So the forearms come onto the mat in front of you. Measure the distance between your elbows by clasping opposite elbows. This is the position which you'll try to keep the mat. Then forearms can come back to the mat, spread your fingers nice and wide apart. Glutes and legs are still active here. They're not tense, but they are active. And feet can be about mat with distance apart. And it's starting to feel that compression within the lower back. If it feels too intense for you, you can slide your elbows further away from you. Gaze can look straight out ahead, or you might look down towards your mat. And we'll be here for two minutes. Find your breath and once again, send each breath in all the way down to the lower back. Each breath out helps to release tension.
bringing your awareness back to your breath and into your body as we take three more full breath cycles. When you're ready to do so, you can slowly start to slide completely onto the front of your body, making a pillow with your hands and resting a cheek or your forehead onto your pillow. Bring your big toes to touch each other, allowing your heels to drop out towards the edges of your mat. Resting here in crocodile pose for one minute allowing all of your muscles to become heavy. Nothing is working here for these few breaths. Now when you're ready to come back, you can start to make your way onto the back of your body, gently flipping over, or just rolling back down onto the back. And once you're there, bring your knees towards your chest and wrap your arms around your legs. Keep your feet beside each other here. Don't cross your ankles. Giving yourself a sweet little hug here in air releasing pose. Breathing deeply into your belly, feeling it expand against your thighs. Each time you exhale, you might be able to squeeze a little bit tighter feeling that opening through your lower back muscles. Now you can stay here in air releasing pose. But if you do want to go a little bit deeper into this stretch, you can come into happy baby pose. And you can do that by making your knees wide apart, bringing your arms in between your legs, and then coming to hold either the outside or the inside of your feet. If your hands don't reach there, you can hold your ankles or you can hold the back of your thighs. Try to keep your feet parallel to the ceiling. And then there's a little bit of opposing energy here. Imagine your feet are trying to touch the sky, but at the same time, your hands are gently pulling them back down towards the earth. Creating a really nice opening for the hips. Also stretching through your hamstrings while also releasing your lower back. So we'll be here for two more minutes, staying connected to your breath, really utilizing the power of your breath here to release tension from your back.
Taking a moment here to relax your jaw, soften your facial muscles, make your neck long, and then try to relax your shoulders even though they are being used in this pose. We'll take three more deep breaths here in Happy Baby. And when you're ready to do so, you can release your grip from your feet giving yourself that little hug again in air releasing pose. From this position we'll come into a two kneed reclined twist. So the arms come out wide left to right, having the palms of your hands gently pressing into the floor. Now peel your tailbone slightly off of the mat and gently drop both knees over towards the left. We want to make sure we can keep both of our shoulders on the mat. So if this right shoulder is coming off of the mat, just reverse out of your twist a little bit so you can bring it back down. If you want to go deeper into this twist, you can look over towards your right hand. And we're going to stay here for two minutes, gently twisting through your lower back, helping to wring out any tension. Keep sending your breath all the way down to the tip of your tailbone. Now it's time for us to slowly transition towards the other side. So press your arms gently into the floor. Use them for support as you lift your knees back to center. Taking a moment to recalibrate if you need it. And when you're ready, lift your tailbone and drop both knees to the right. Remember, both shoulders need to stay on the mat. And if you want to go a bit deeper, look over towards the left.
when you're ready, start to bring your knees slowly back to center. Doing whatever you feel called to do here. You might make your feet mat with distance apart and just allow your knees to rest against each other. Or you might prefer to give yourself a little hug again. Option this time to make circles with your knees. Now, once you feel that you have released any last little pockets of tension from your lower back, you can make your way back to sit on the mat, bringing your feet in underneath you. We're going to make our way into the only standing pose of yin yoga, which is dangling pose. So you can have your feet about hip width distance apart. And then you're slowly straightening the legs, keeping as much of a bend in your knees as you need to. We don't need to straighten our legs here, that's not the goal. And we definitely don't want to lock our knees, so keep everything nice and buoyant. Then hands can come to hold opposite elbows. Head becomes heavy and hangs back down towards the ground. If needed, you can rest your elbows onto your thighs and don't be afraid to bend your legs as much as you need to. We're going to stay here for two minutes or for however long feels best for you. And you should start to feel this pose stretching through your lower back and through your entire spine. You might also feel your hamstrings being lengthened. So start to send your breath into whatever area of your body is asking for it the most. Relaxing your jaw, softening your facial muscles. And just letting breath and gravity do all of the work here. From dangling, we're going to come straight down into squat pose. So you can bring your fingers back towards the mat. Make your feet about mat width distance apart and point your toes away from you. Then you're going to drop your hips as much as you can down in between your knees. Make sure the knees and feet are pointed in the same direction. And then elbows can come in between the knees. You might make a prayer position with your hands and then gently widen your knees if that feels good for you. Keeping the spine nice and straight, we're gonna stay here for one minute. But if you need to come out of squat pose, that's okay. An alternative here is to come into child's pose and to keep your knees nice and wide apart. And don't worry if your heels are up off of the mat, that's normal. What we're focusing on here is how we feel, feeling that nice release in your lower back, opening up your hips and just savoring your last few breaths of this practice.
Now you can come out of the pose however feels best for you, maybe standing up again, maybe tipping yourself forward, or maybe you're ready to just come back down to find a seat on the mat. And once you're there, you can sit in whatever position is most comfortable for you. We'll end this practice just by taking three quiet breaths together. So close your eyes, lengthen your spine, relax your jaw. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Two more times. And when you're ready, you can slowly open up the eyes again. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick yin yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please leave it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel that really supports me in making these videos. If you're interested in trying some full length yin yoga classes, all one hour plus, I have a free series here on my channel of nine full length yin yoga classes. So make sure to check that out. And if you are looking for more full length yin yoga classes, I do that all within my YouTube membership, along with lots of other bonus content as well. So if you would like to access that content, you can become a member of my channel. And that also really supports me in making these YouTube videos. So I'll see you in the next practice. Until then, take care and goodbye.